Today on the workbench, I've got a, uh, th now this is something different, and I, I like to do some different things now and then, keep it interesting, but uh, I've been buying passenger cars, and this is a Walther, Walther's Proto, 85 foot Pullman Standard Lunch Counter Lounge, and it's one of the uh, CNO Pierre Marquette and this is brand new and what I want to do or what I'm going to do is take this take this passenger car and I am going to install one of these let me get this out of the way one of these ESU uh, lighting boards this is a 5708. It's got 11 LEDs in it. And you can see the board here. Uh, let's see, this thing is... Oh, it's... How long is it? It's about 10 and a half inches long. So it'll fit nicely in this car. But uh, you can do several things with these, with these lighting boards. And they're relatively inexpensive. I think they're like $39 a piece. So they're not not bad I think that's what I paid for this but uh, and you can use it in a smaller car if you want to you can you can actually take and there's tabs in here you can cut and it goes through that in the uh, in the instructions but uh, and then you can turn lights on individually turn them off individually have different uh, zones I guess if you want to call them that uh, you can it, it comes with a set of red LEDs that are already wired up and you could drill that into the back of the car if you wanted to you know put some rear marker lights on so but what I want to do is I want to install this in this uh, dining car or lounge car so let me get this out of the way now The only way, well, I, I guess there are two ways that you can get into this car. Walther's recommends to take this thing apart with a, like an X-Acto knife. I believe it's a number, uh, let me, I knew I should have pulled that out. It's one of the chisel blades. Yeah. It's a number 17 chisel blade is what they recommend to take those out with. And I have tried that. And I'm looking that up right now for a second. I believe it was the 17. It's not the number 5. Yeah, number 17 chisel blade. Okay. Because there are, and if you look at the instructions, you can read that right there. I'm not going to read it to you. But it shows you where the, the tabs are. And they want you to push in on those. Well, I have tried that. And it damages the car it'll leave marks on the roof. So, saying that, I had to find another way to get into these cars. Okay, now, I'm gonna have to move the camera around for this. And you'll understand why here in a second. All right, so I'm gonna pause you here and then you'll be back with a different view. Okay, we're back here and I've got this car in front of me. And you're going to think, you know, this is, <laughs> this looks really bad, but this works. Uh, what you want to do is just take this car and start twisting it. And you'll hear it, you'll hear it pop, just like that. And you'll get, 
That'll break those tabs loose. You won't hurt the car any. <laughs> now, now that I say it, I've done it before. There we go. There we go. See, now that pops that right off. And you're right in. So, now if you do do any damage to these uh, little clips, you can put some glue on them and they'll be fine. But, <laughs> that's how you get that off. So now let's get back down here to our regular view. Okay, we're back. And... Here's the top off of that. I know that's uh, that seems a little destructive when you start doing that, but uh, it doesn't cause any damage at all. And like I say, I did try. I have tried the method that Walther's recommends with no success. So, <laughs> but anyway. Let's move on here and uh, get this car, get some light in it. Uh, I am going to put some passengers in that, or in this. So, I think I'll do that before I start working on the lighting. Well, I can do a few things here. Let me turn my soldering station on and we will start to work now I've got a few little specialty things here I'll show you well let, let's talk about this car a minute first okay these cars come with uh, electrical pickups on the bottom because Walther's sells a lighting kit for these cars. I haven't used one. I don't know how they work. I had wanted to go with the, the LOC, the ESU uh, lighting boards. So these, these cars already pick up you can see the metal, well, maybe you can see the metal there, down on, on the bottom of the frame. You can see they have pickups on them. And it's the same, same, they pick up on both sides. And what they do is they feed up to one point. Let's see, let me zoom in on that just a little bit. Okay. So right here, these two leads are connections for each side. Well, now, saying that, um, I don't know if these are a, some kind of a mild steel or what, but you can't solder to them. So now what I do is I install these. They're a little brass eyelet. Let me get one out here. And they take a one and a half millimeter hole to put in. So you can see how small that is. Now, to put those in, let me get some of these back in the uh, bag here before I, I spill them. But I like to put these in so I will have a good solder connection. Now, what I use to do that is this little metal punch from... Uh, speed uh, 
speed walks. I guess that's how you pronounce it. I got them from Amazon. Uh, I think you can get these at like art supply stores too or places that sell jewelry making supplies. But what it is, it's a one and a half millimeter metal punch. So, and I'll show you how I do that. But I'll just take let me flip this up a little bit or bend it up a little bit so I can get my punch in there. Let me turn it over here. Hopefully we can get this on camera. And I wanna I wanna try to center it the best I can. And then just gently push down. And then I have to take a small screwdriver. Well, nope, I didn't need to. Okay, let me flatten this out now. But you can see that that makes a, a nice hole. Right there's our hole that we just punched compared to the one that doesn't have a hole. And I'll, I'll zoom in on that. See a little better. And then let me go ahead and I'll, I'll punch this other side. Okay, so there now we've got our holes punched. Let me. All right, now we will take our little eyelet. Yeah. Take our eyelet. kind of a pain to get in. There I, I say pain and that one slid right in and you didn't get to see it. So let me try this one again. And if I'd flatten this out chunk of metal there on the bottom and I believe that's what's holding me I don't think my punch went all the way through well I know the punch went all the way through but let's try this now yep. get the punch back out My goodness. And see, I've got that little, that little piece. Now the other side went right in. <laughs>
some metal and what I do after I get those in I'll just put solder around it now it may not stick to that but it will at least fill the hole and it'll be solid that I'm having that much trouble with one of these. pliers here. That's all it was, was just that, a little bit. And I'll take and I'll crimp that. So let me, let me zoom in again. So you can see how that is. But I'll go ahead and uh, crimp these. Let me get... Just a different set of so I'll have that little crimp in there, and then once I put my solder around. Nice and tight in there. So let's go ahead and in there, soldering gun heated up, that tip cleaned off. doing is just filling around that hole but 
that'll keep that in there solid and give it a good connection. And I like to solder to the brass better anyway. So there's my, there's the start of this. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put some uh, people in there. And I don't want to use CA glue or anything like that because if you do it clouds the windows up. So I want to uh, get them set in there and then I'll let them dry. And then I'll come back and and then I'll finish this car up with the lighting. So let me get some people and then we'll be back. Okay, made it back here. And as you can see, I have placed some people inside. Let's see, let's see what that looks like from the side here, if we can, I don't even know if, let me zoom down a little bit, yeah, with the light and everything, they're not real prominent, but you can make out some figures in there, so let's flip it over onto the other side. see see a few people there sitting at the at the bar and then you got a few people on down the line there but passenger cars look better with passengers so and those are just cheap little figures I think I bought I don't know I bought like a hundred of them off of eBay and they're all they're the same figures, basically, just painted a little different. Each one painted a little different, but not much difference in them. And they're not real high quality figures either. Now, I probably paid 12 bucks for all 100 of them or so, so they're not the greatest quality. But they do at least give you the effect of people in there. So now, let's get back to the lighting board. rid of that. There's our instructions. Okay, and we'll zoom back out here. Okay, so you can see, well, I forgot this was taped into the case. done before I started here. But anyway, all right, let me get rid of that. Now I'll take and I'll just lay this one just so you can see it a little better background. But these are made to come apart and you can make them different lengths. Now we're going to use 
the entire length of uh, this one and so my pickups are back here on this end and I will end up I'll remove um, I'll remove these two red lights red LEDs because I'm not going to use them in this project and then I'll just basically double put double sided tape on this and tape it to the bottom of the or the yeah tape it to the roof so but I want to make sure I've got okay I'm gonna turn it around yeah that's the way that goes okay but for now I am going to remove these two lights. My blues will come off and the browns will come off. Well, two of the browns. Because two of the grounds, or two of the browns, are the pickups. So let me separate them out. So there's that one, and then I have that one, and I have my soldering iron here heated up, get that tip cleaned off a little bit. side almost immediately there we go and I'll save those because I can use them in probably another little project um, I'll just lay them lay them over here out of the way hopefully I won't lose them can take and I'll strip my wires. Well, that one's stripped. I don't need to strip them. They're already stripped. Okay. All right. So, let's see. Oh. I've got a small capacitor I can put on here. It's like a keep alive for these, so hang on a second. Okay, I've come back here and I've found uh, my little lighting strip power packs. This is an ESU product 50710. And we'll dig that out here. And basically that's that's it. Just a tiny tiny little capacitor. Uh, and it will solder to let me zoom in here so you can see this. Get some of this out of the way. There are two, well, but that's not going to focus. There are two pads here, labeled PP. For some reason, that is not going to focus. But as you can see, there are two pads. We'll have to flux that up and put some solder on them. Let 
me uh, let me zoom in a little closer here. There you go. There you can see that. And then this is the capacitor. Very tiny and compact. And it is a 5.5 volt. Uh, I think that's 0.22 farads. I think that's what that's labeled as. I'll th throw that up there so you can see it. Now I can't put this in here. Let's see, which is my positive side? I'll have to go back to my instructions to see which one is the positive. believe that that side right there oh, is the positive side. Let me look that up real quick though. Okay, we're back here and I just wanted to make sure about the marks or which is the negative lead. So the marks on these point to the negative lead. So this is my negative side. And I think I will take and I'm going to put a little black Sharpie mark. That way I know that's my negative side. So, but your polarity marks will point to that. So, but now if, if you'll notice, I'd like to lay this capacitor in there flat. Okay, but to do that I'm going to have to do some bending of the uh, leads on this capacitor. But first let's let's zoom back out here. And I want to make sure that I can get a good fit inside the cab. So I know, bring this down here, bring this down, and we'll zoom out a little more. Kind of. Okay. So our LED strip is going to lay in here just like this. Oop. That'll be in there like that. Of course it'll be mounted to the uh, roof. So that'll go there like that. And I don't think yep, you can't see that. So what I'll end up doing, I'll have enough room to start that and mount it. Well, I'll mount it back a little ways that way because this, the, these tabs right here almost hit this divider here and I want to stay away from that so let's kind of line that up and we'll see where we're at so that looks like it'll clear everything right there and I think I think we're in fairly decent shape there um, may move this down just a little bit I 
think that's about as far down as I can go. Trying to line that up. What I really want, I'm concerned about this LED here lining up over top of this little closet. I mean, it won't hurt anything. I'll still have plenty of light in there. But and we'll go ahead and so that's where we want to position that. Now I want to go ahead and bend this. Let's see. Let me get a pair of pliers here. I want to flatten these out. Let's see. Actually, I want that to lay like that. Yeah. I don't want to bend them too much because if I start bending them too much, then I'll just end up breaking them off. So we've got that. So my negative, that will sit there like that, bend that up a little bit. And I'll make sure that it just kind of sits there. I think it's going to be right in the way. Yep. So, I'll, I'm going to attach some leads to that. Maybe I can hide that. Nope. <laughs> Can't hide it in there, but I can take and sit it here on the floor. That. So I'm going to attach some leads to that, and that will take care of uh, where we're going to put it. So let me get this up here. Put this back in here for right now. A little bit of flux on those. And then I've got some little pieces of wire here. Got some yellow and some gray pieces. So what I'm doing right now, I'm just stripping some wire, getting it ready to flux and, and put on. Okay, now. That. And I am going 
going to make let me turn this around so gray is negative positive wipe that little bit of flux up before I stick my hand in it flux tip off a little bit so we've got that fluxed up A little bit of flux there. So I'll tin this board up now. my negative Just a little bit. We won't have to worry about it touching something that it shouldn't. So there's that one. Do that over here to this wire, shorten it up a little bit. So now we've got our capacitor put in, or power pack as ESU calls it. Now what I can do, I'll go ahead and fasten this with some double sided tape. sharp instrument here and I'll
cut that down in three pieces. And here in a second I'll have the joy of pulling that off, pulling the backing off. Lastly, okay, so I've got these in there, and that'll go there. Let me put another piece up here on this end. Well, I'll put two more pieces in. off of them first. Maybe that'll make it a little easier. There's that. We'll get that piece in there. in here. All right. Now let's see what kind of damage we can do here. Get it as centered as best we can. everything together I'll make our connections here and these are already um, tinned switch hands.
Okay. So there is our connections. And now, turn that off. I'm going to pull out our trusty uh, test track. We can set that up on the track and see what kind of lighting we have. Get rid of that. Okay, now that we've got it on our programming track, let's see, we'll get out the instructions so I can read because I don't remember what the functions are. Okay, now this is just straight out of the box. So if I would have left the uh, red light on, that would have been F0. That would have turned our rear light on for the direction of travel. Uh, F1 switches the external load, which I don't have any thing on that. So F2, that, let's see, can you see that? I may have to, let me turn my other light off here. So there you can see all of the, all of the lights on. Actually, let me, let me turn my overhead light off. Now you're almost completely in the dark. So F2, that'll turn them all on. Uh, F3, and, and there's uh, four groups of three lights. So there's one group. So you can turn these on and off individually. There's another group. Another group. Another group. And then, so, so there's all of our groups of lights. Okay, let me turn my lights back on here and then I'll go ahead and snap this car back together and then we'll get a side view of it so but other than that we're we're basically complete here on this installation so alright let me uh, turn you off for a second Okay, so I've switched it around here, got the roof back on it and everything. So let's, uh, I'll turn this on. Well, let me turn off my, turn off that light. So, there we can see. Kind of turn that around a little bit. Got a little bit of light reflecting there off of my shirt. So there's the on and off, and then we can do kind of a section by section there. These give your passenger car just a little more, something more interesting to look at. Uh, 
Let's see. So that is the complete install of uh, ESU lighting board in a passenger car. And I'll put some more of those in. I'll probably do another video or so about it. But uh, let's see if I zoom in here. Wonder. That's not zoom. You can see a couple of folks there. Somebody at the bar. Another person there. But nice little project to do. Easy project. Zoom back out. Not a real expensive project. But all right, that completes this one. Thanks for watching.